Hello everybody, this is Joey, and I am back playing Minecraft, yay, and I just wanted to show you my new skeleton spawner trap thingy. So this is what it looks like from the outside, and I will show you the guts of it here in a second. Um, and you can hear it's extremely active. So let's go downstairs to where all the good stuff is. So I'm down here and you'll notice I've got some redstone stuff going on here. This is the spawning room. Uh, I'm not going to open it up, but there's it's just, well, let me open it up so you can see kind of what it looks like. I might get shot here, so, and I'll only have three hearts. Whoops. Oh. So you can see kind of how that works. I have some water over there that feeds into a hole in the corner here and, and a water elevator that goes up. Did that skeleton get stuck? Okay, I can't really... I don't have any food right now, so I can't really do anything. Um, but basically what it is, they go up the elevator and they go all the way to the top and then they get stuck up there because I have a um, piston up there. And what that piston does is holds them in place. And they are far enough away from the spawner that they don't actually they don't they don't actually get count as being or I guess the spawner only allows like three or four skeletons to spawn at once, but once they go up to the top there they're out of that range of the spawner, so it just keeps spawning them as long as I'm standing here. So, um, I've got that, and then this one right here releases the piston way up upstairs, and then they will all come crashing down. And so this one right here <laughs> is essentially just a... A uh, bone and arrow farm, and I've already got a couple of stacks of arrows off this thing. Now, the other thing I can do is flip this switch, and I'll show you what it does. I go up this little ladder and I open this door, and it pulls this one out right here. And hopefully, a Mr. Skeleton will fall. Yep, there he is. And you see, he doesn't die. Up, oh, but he's a one hit. So now it's an it's an XP farm. So not only am I you kind of have to stand back a little bit. <laughs> uh so not only do I have a not only do I have um what do you call it? A, a, an arrow farm. I have also a there we go I have also an XP farm so I can I can farm either one here it doesn't it doesn't matter one way or the other I can farm arrows and bones or I can farm XP and arrows and bones so it's uh, the best of both both worlds if I have plenty of XP and I just want to AFK and not worry about it I can do that and just collect up a bunch of arrows or alternatively I can go up go upstairs just a little bit and farm uh, XP and arrows and bones so 
It's a versatile trap. Uh, I like it. I think it's cool. It took me a few minutes to figure it out. I had to go look at my um, zombie spawner to uh, get the uh, get it just right, get it figured out. Um, but I think I have it pretty much down right now. It seems to be working, um, and it seems to be working pretty well. So. I love that sound. Anyway, it seems to be working pretty well. And what is it? Set up. Yeah. So let me go up there and farm a little XP. Pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty neat. And there you go. And and the reason I have this down here is so I can easily go in here. Whoops. Yeah. Luckily my bed's like right over there. Um But I, I still don't have any meats or veggies. So that kinda sucks. But in my armor is starting to wear a bit thin but the reason I have that there is so that um, they, they die and if I were to undo this see how that one drops down in there um, it might they don't always die when they drop like that so I just want to make sure they can't get out here in my little home area and you can see I already got a stack of arrows. I got two stacks of arrows plus another 16. So. That's pretty cool. I'll be able to get a bunch of arrows. That'll help me fighting that dragon thing in the end. And. So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting to the point now where. I'm, I found the stronghold. I've got an arrow farm. Uh, right now I just need to get down and start mining again, get a bunch of diamonds, um, so I can make some armor, some diamond swords and such, and then, um, I guess, you know, after that, hmm, after that, I guess there's nothing left to do but go after the, the end. And then after I beat the end, I'm not sure what happens after that. I think uh, at that point I'll just, you know, turn this kind of into a creative world and build, you know, some neat structures and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, I've still got a little ways to go, so I'll be working on that. And I'm, other than that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much pretty getting pretty close. Getting close there. So... Oh, Creeper, where did you come from? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. Didn't do too much damage. Not too much damage there. Where's my torches? There's my torches. Torch there. Cool. Where did that Creeper come from? Didn't come from there. I tell you what, I'm gonna solve that little problem right now. And I can go back into these areas if I want to. But right now, I'm just gonna seal them up. And not worry about them. Here we go. So, I'm all sealed up in here, and that's that needs a little light. I'll put a redstone torch there. Redstone torches don't give that much light. Never mind. Do I have anything that gives off light? I can make some torches. There we go. There we go. 
Now we're looking pretty good. Everywhere is pretty well lit now. So, we're looking good. There we go. All sealed up. So this is my little home away from home for right now, and I'll be over here farming arrows and experience for a while. Anyway, that's all I got for this time. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.